This is my pile of junk. So I've had a lot of questions lately um, and it's pretty consistent of saying I get the same ones all the time. So I feel like this is a nice way to kind of clear that up. I can answer all of them in one shot. And part of it is showing it because I've had a lot of people ask me like, for example, how do you organize all your stuff? I don't. It was a little organized at one point. Like I had spheres all here, wire there, silverware there, like, but you can see it's falling apart at this point. Um, it would be helpful to have it organized, but it's just, I don't even know what that would look like to tell you the truth. So that's one. Number two, a lot of people ask me where it comes from. Basically all my friends and family. That's, that's basically where all of this came from. A portion of it, just people in my community, I'll go on my Facebook uh, community page and I'll just post like, hey, you know, if I want a basketball, like anyone have a basketball that they're about to throw away, I'll come scoop it from you. So if it's specific stuff, that's, that's how I would get it. But for the most part, I think it's better to just kind of work with what I have. You know, the, the point ultimately being to just make things out of discarded materials, which leads me to my next point. I've had some people insinuate that I'm buying my materials, that I'm not sourcing them from junk. And I suppose to a degree, this is debatable if this is junk because it's it's in the package. It's never been used. It's not as if it's, you know, been, you know, pulled out of the garbage. I don't go dumpster diving. As you can see, I don't have to. None of this stuff is dirty. I mean, a lot of it ends up needing a little bit of a clean just because it might have, you know, dust or whatever on it. But for the most part, it's not, it's not trash per se. It's just stuff that was unwanted in its first life and I intercept it. And for example, these were ping pong balls at someone's home and now they're going to be probably eyeballs. So that's the next part. Um, also like a lot of people will be like, oh, you seem to have a lot of those as if it means you know, you're buying them. But like, for example, I have friends that work at Trader Joe's and they save me these, they're um, the produce bag holders. So I've got a lot of those. This is a big giant garbage bin, uh, bag full of them. So that kind of stuff happens pretty frequently. I also have all of this in here. Um, lots of wire in this room. This whole box is filled with wire. Um, then I have all of these, again, from Trader Joe's, the friends that I have that work there, they save me these. People see that I use them in my work and they say, oh, I see that you use a lot of those beers, six pack caps. I have a lot of them. Um, if you want, I can send them to you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. But I have so much. I don't think I can use it. It's just getting a little overwhelming at this point. I love the idea that people would prefer to donate their trash to the cause of making art. Um, that they're being conscious in that they don't want it to go to a landfill and they'd like it to go to something else. But it's a lot. 